Hello, my name is Emil Shabilsky. I graduated from the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point in 1992. I was invited by my good friend Wayne to demonstrate a knot to you tonight. Tonight I will do that. Tonight the knot I am going to demonstrate to you is a special purpose knot. It is known as the alpine butterfly and it has many useful purposes. I will try to demonstrate that to you this evening in this video. First of all, let me start by using a rope. Here is a rope. I have a rope wrapped around a simulated branch in a tree. I want to climb this rope to this branch, but I do not want this rope to slip over the branch. So what I must do is I must somehow cinch it off to this branch. I could do that with a slip knot or a bowlin. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you a better way. The alpine butterfly way. I'm going to demonstrate to you how I tie the alpine butterfly. Not the way everyone else ties an alpine butterfly, but the way I tie it. And the way I tie it is the way other people tie it as well. So you may find this method all over the place. It's okay. It's the method I have chosen. And I think it is the best and easiest method but I will also demonstrate the other inferior methods as well. Just kidding about the inferior. Let's start by grabbing the rope. Here's the rope. You start by making a loop in the rope. Now, this is a loop, this is not a bite. This is a bite. This is a loop. Start by making a loop in the rope. Take this loop, make it as big as you want, and then make another loop to form a figure eight. This is the right half of the eight. This is the left half of the eight. You now take the right half of the eight and pass it over the left half of the eight. And then you push the loop through the back side of the figure eight. And you pull that through just like that. You now have an alpine butterfly. We will dress this knot up. Always dress your knots. We do not like naked knots. Dress your knots. This is a properly tied alpine butterfly. How do I know it's properly tied? Let me show you how I know it is properly tied. If you will observe the knot, this side of the knot has two parallel lines moving through the center between these loops. The other side of this knot has an X. It does not matter which side the X is on or which side the parallel loops are on as long as there is an X on one side and parallel loops on the other. This knot will not untie. It is very secure. It is very easy to untie. This is why it is a very special purpose knot. You might be saying, well, how does that help you cinch the rope around the branch? Well, let me demonstrate to you. I use a device called the Delta Link. I do not use a carabiner. A carabiner cannot stand cross-loading. Cross-loading means when the gate is being pressed on from the top or the bottom in a sideways direction. It is not good for the carabiner. It could break the carabiner, damage it. It could damage your life or end it. So I use this method. For the purpose of securing this locking nut, I have also attached the proper sized wrench to the delta link so it is always with the delta link so that I can tighten it and untighten it at will. This is not a method I invented. I saw this done on another YouTube channel, just so you know. What we do now is we open the link up and we put it through the loop of the alpine butterfly. Then we take the line that we're going to be climbing on right here. We capture it in the delta link. Then we close the delta link as such. To make sure it is secure, we use the wrench to tighten the delta link. Did I just spit? I think I did. So. At this point, we pull on the climbing side of this rope until it cinches itself around the branch we intend to climb. That is how we secure a rope into a branch in a tree. That's how I do it. 
You may have another idea. You may have a better idea, but this is my way or the highway. Now, the nice thing about this method is that to get this rope out of the tree, all you have to do is grab the other end of the rope and pull downward thusly. When you're all done climbing, this is a very convenient way to remove your rope from the tree. Cinch it up, take it down. You have to make sure that when you climb this rope that you do not start climbing on this side of the rope. Bad things will happen if you do that. Don't do that. As a safety, sometimes I will take this part of the rope here and I will move it out of the way completely so that I cannot accidentally grab it. But if you're on the ground when you grab it, don't worry, you will not go far. You do not want to grab this and connect it into your climbing system when you're up in the tree. Accidental bodily injury or death may occur as a result. Now let me demonstrate to you alternative methods for tying an alpine butterfly. First, I will remove this by taking my wrench and loosening the gate. Open the gate, remove the line, stow away the gate. Let me show you how easy it is to untie an alpine butterfly. You just take the little ears right here and you fold them down and this knot comes completely undone. It's magical. Another way to tie the alpine butterfly is to grab the rope in your hand like this Pass it in front of your palm once, pass it in front of your palm twice. The third time, observe. The third time, you pass it between the first two loops. You then grab the outermost loop, pull some slack, cross it over the other two loops, push it under the other two loops, grab the emerging loop, and pull. You now have a properly tied alpine butterfly. Note, however, the method I just have demonstrated, the two parallel lines are now on the opposite side of what they were at the other method. But that's okay, it does not matter. No, it does not. When you look at this side, we have an X pattern. And what did I say earlier? I said an X on one side and parallel lines on the other is illustrative of a properly tied knot. So let me show you the two methods one last time. The palm method, grab the rope, pass it around your palm once, pass it twice. On the third time, the loop goes in the middle. Take the outermost loop, get some slack in it, bring it over the other two loops, push it under those two loops, pull the emerging loop out, dress up your knot. Check for two parallel lines on one side and an X on the other. You can make this loop as long as you wish, but for tree climbing, for cinching around a branch, it's best to keep it as short as possible. It makes it a little easier when you're fishing your rope through that loop. I'll demonstrate outdoors on another day, or somebody will. Now let me demonstrate my favorite method, the method that I prefer. Do not make a bite, make a loop. Make it a loop that's long enough to deal with. Make another loop to turn it into a figure eight. Take the right part of the eight, pass it over the left part of the eight and push it through the left part of the eight. Dress up your knot. Check your knot to make sure it is properly tied. Parallel lines on one side, X on the opposite side. Folks, this concludes the two methods I know of to tie the alpine butterfly. There's a man, Richard Mumford, who can tie the alpine butterfly another way. I quite haven't figured out how he does it. He's a magical man. I'll put a link to that video um, somewhere, probably right up there right now. That's all I have to say. I'm gonna see if my friend Wayne is here so that maybe he can come and say a few words to you. Thank you for letting me display this method of tying the alpine butterfly on this video. 
I hope you will subscribe to my friend Wayne's channel by hitting the subscribe button and pressing the little bell button so that you will get notifications every time he posts a video such as this one. And I also would like to say, please give it a thumbs up if you like it. There is no way that you can dislike this video, so don't even think about a thumbs down. So I'm going to leave this set right now and turn it over to my friend Wayne. Good night. Okay, friends. Well, that was a wild experience, was it not? Thank you, Pete Shabilsky. I'm sorry, Emil. He's got a brother named Pete. They look a lot alike. So uh, this was Emil Shabilsky from the University of Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Or University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point. I forget which way that goes. But anyway, folks, thank you for watching this video. Um, I know it was a little different. No offense to you, buddy, but uh, thank you so much for, for doing what you did. Honestly, really, you did a great job. Hey, listen, y'all, thank you for watching my videos. Um, I hope to see you in the comments. Please leave a comment. I want to talk to you. I want to hear what you've got to say. But remember this, folks. We have the power to change the world by just being kind and loving one another. Let's do that. See ya. Hello, my name is Wayne. <clears throat> I just dropped my ranch, folks. <laughs>